What if we told you that beneath our feet, beneath deserts, forests, and farmland, there might be enough clean energy to power civilization for 170,000 years? This isn't sci-fi, it's a scientific reality. Natural hydrogen, sometimes called white hydrogen, is bubbling up from the Earth's crust in places we've barely started to explore. It's invisible, it's renewable, and it could change everything. In 1987, a drilling team in the remote village of Burkebugu, Mali, hit something unexpected. It wasn't oil, it wasn't water. It was a colorless, odorless gas that caught fire. It was hydrogen. Since then, that site has quietly powered part of the village with nothing but hydrogen pulled from the earth. But back then, no one realized the implications. Today, geologists are connecting the dots. It turns out that hydrogen isn't just a trace element underground. It might be everywhere. White hydrogen is pure molecular hydrogen naturally produced by the Earth itself. Unlike green hydrogen, which requires huge amounts of electricity and water to produce via electrolysis, white hydrogen forms underground through geological processes. One key reaction? Serpentinization, when water meets iron-rich rock deep underground, splitting into hydrogen and oxygen. It also forms through radiolysis, when natural radiation breaks water molecules apart. Over millions of years, these processes create vast underground pockets of H2. And it gets better. White hydrogen is clean. It doesn't come from fossil fuels. It doesn't need to be manufactured. It just needs to be tapped. But how much hydrogen are we talking about? A lot, like potentially trillions of tons. Recent studies estimate that the Earth might hold up to 5 trillion tons of natural hydrogen. To put it into perspective, a single ton of hydrogen can deliver about 33,000 kilowatt hours of energy. Now multiply that by 5 trillion. Even if only a fraction is recoverable, it's still a once-in-history scale discovery. So far, confirmed reserves are scattered around the world in countries such as Mali, France, Australia, Spain, and United States, notably Nebraska, Kansas, and the Appalachian Basin. Exploration wells have shown high-purity hydrogen venting naturally, and we're only scratching the surface. The real jackpot might lie miles beneath continental crusts, especially in ancient shield areas where iron-rich rocks dominate. How do you harvest it? Unlike traditional drilling for oil or gas, hydrogen wells are surprisingly simple. Hydrogen seeps naturally upward through porous rock and faults. If captured with proper well infrastructure, it doesn't require high-pressure fracking or toxic chemicals. Companies like Coloma and Hyterra are now testing scalable methods to drill, extract, and purify natural hydrogen safely and cheaply. Their early data shows that hydrogen flow rates could compete with those of early natural gas wells. If extraction becomes economical, we could have a distributed, decentralized energy system powered by the planet itself. Environmental Impact This is where things get really exciting. White hydrogen is among the cleanest forms of energy we know. Burning it emits only water vapor, no CO2, no methane, no smog-forming pollutants. It doesn't require rare earth metals like batteries. It doesn't involve high water use like green hydrogen. And it leaves behind zero toxic waste. Best of all, if used in fuel cells, it offers up to 60% efficiency, much higher than combustion engines. But of course, nothing is perfect. Hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe. It leaks easily. It's flammable. And if released in large quantities, it could impact atmospheric chemistry, though current models show minimal effects at realistic leak rates. Drilling must also be carefully regulated to avoid groundwater disruption or unintended environmental harm. But compared to oil and gas, the risks are significantly lower. The biggest hurdle? 
We still don't fully understand the global distribution, flow rates, and long-term sustainability of white hydrogen wells. Who's racing to tap it first? Private startups, government labs, and oil giants are suddenly paying attention. The U.S. Department of Energy has launched white hydrogen research initiatives. France has set ambitious goals to produce natural hydrogen by 2030. Australia is funding exploratory hydrogen mapping. And startups like Natural Hydrogen Energy and Coloma are already raising millions in venture capital. This is a modern-day gold rush. But instead of oil, it's hydrogen. Could this power the world? Yes, but only if we move fast. If white hydrogen proves scalable and affordable, it could provide clean baseload power. It could fuel trucks, planes, ships, and data centers. It could replace fossil fuels in industries like steel and fertilizer. Combined with renewable electricity, white hydrogen could accelerate our transition to a net zero world. And unlike solar or wind, it doesn't stop when the sun sets or the wind dies down. A clean energy revolution might not come from the sky. It might come from deep within the earth. Natural hydrogen could be the most important energy discovery of the 21st century. But only if we understand it, invest in it, and regulate it wisely. This is iTech. If you found this fascinating, drop a comment. Would you trust your country's future to hydrogen bubbling up from under the ground? Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the future isn't waiting. It's already underground.